Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to make the Bitmoji Flat Stanley that was posted on Cricut's Facebook page today. Um, here is the post that Cricut um, posted a couple hours ago. Um, and some a lady had just created a flat version of herself. Um, to send to her students. This can also be used um, for Girl Scout troop leaders. I've seen it in that group as well. Um, so from a PC, you're gonna go to bitmoji.com um, and you're gonna have to have Google Chrome to do this. So you're gonna scroll to the bottom of bitmoji.com and click on Bitmoji for Chrome Desktop. And it, when you do that, it's going to add an extension um, and so you can just add it to Chrome here and it's going to be, I have a lot of extensions, it's going to be on your extension bar. And so when it's there, you can just click on it and um, the word you want to type to search is pose and then it'll give you a bunch of different poses to choose from. Um, so I've already done this a couple times tonight. So I'm going to choose this one. You can either right click it. Um, and open in a new tab or just click and it'll copy the URL and then paste it in your search bar um, and that's going to get you the same result and then you're going to right click it and you're going to save image as to your computer um, I'm going to save this one just in my downloads is bitmoji 8 and then go open Cricut Design Space and you're going to upload that image um, into Cricut Design Space. So um, I'm assuming you know how to upload an image. You just click upload, upload an image, and then browse, and then go to the folder where your image was saved. And so I call this Bitmoji 8. Um, what you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to do choose complex because if you choose simple, it's going to dull the colors. So complex and then next, and then you don't have to erase anything. Next, and then you wanna save this as a print and cut image, um, obviously, because otherwise it's just gonna create a silhouette of your Bitmoji, um, your avatar. And so I'm gonna just save it as Bitmoji. And then I'm gonna tag Bitmoji and then my name, um, so that in the future, if I wanna find this, these images, I can just search my name. Okay, um, and you see I've uploaded a lot, so I'm going to choose this one that I just uploaded and insert images, and then I'm going to resize her to, so I've made cards for my students already that are 4 by 6 so I'm going to resize her to 6, and it's going to cut it 6 by 2.915, and then I'm just going to go make it. And then for the purpose of this post I'm gonna just do three and then continue and my Cricut's already on send to printer and then in order for there not to be any white outline I'm gonna hit I'm gonna keep the bleed on and then I'm gonna print it and that's it thank you for watching hope this helped